uh, welcome back again guys to my youtube channel and uh, thank you very much for keep watching on my uh, videos and today i have here a uh, 15 uh, ppm uh, uh, builds uh, this is a 15 ppm monitor okay this is a uh, smart builds uh, made by uh, river craze uh, engineering so uh, this is the uh, <coughs> cover for the sensor is here inside okay. this was to move and send here to me for repair and I will try my best if I can do something or uh, whatever just cleaning okay this is the part number okay uh, this is the three-way uh, wall okay so I'll just uh, open this and show you uh, what is inside and how to clean it I will dismantle this all and we will see so you can also try to open this and uh, clean by yourself okay I will see <coughs> So, to remove this guys, uh, just uh, press this one, so, you see, you have two here, this one or this one, okay, just press, just press this, uh, okay. two screws you can remove this this is the sensor okay now you can see the glass now here <coughs> okay then you can remove this actually uh, what this job is you see when you the job of this is a, a cleaning, uh, uh, a cleaning tools inside the glass. Okay, I'll just show you. See, this is the glass, right? And this sensor, you have 
you have how many sensors here okay. and it's all sensors there okay and what happened when he passes there when some element passes here here uh, he will detect the percentage of uh, the oil okay so what you did what this tool is doing when you press you see it's cleaning okay this is a uh, cleaning tools okay so it was clean already see very bad smell okay I'll just remove this what he's doing try to remove this To remove this you should have uh, special tools because uh, this is a uh, 7mm yeah this is 7mm screw yeah and this is the uh, 7mm uh, socket this is 7mm socket but you need to machine the uh, outer side because this is not going inside so you need to uh, remove some uh, to resize this uh, I mean put it in the machine and resize it so you can put it here and remove it okay glass out still really hard so after you remove all the screw here okay you remove all four screw and also the screw here four so you just can pull this out okay okay going out okay it's going out now you can pull this out okay okay you have the o-ring and you see it's very it's dirty okay so now you can remove this glass. Okay. 
Okay, can remove this. Okay. And you can clean this with the uh, uh, glass cleaner. Okay. That is my glass cleaner. Okay. okay now uh, this glass was clean already uh, just okay very nice clean and uh, I use it uh, I use a uh, uh, glass cleaner only and uh, also okay I clean this one okay, it's inside Okay. And here, uh, there is, is there is O-ring also here inside. Okay, see, here is the O-ring also. Clean it also. You see, this is what happened. You see, this is grease. You see, so it gives you error already because this is like uh, oily already. So what happened when? is already inside uh, it will sense uh, error in the sensor because the uh, um, element of the oil is passing through here so it will sense all the time give you error so this one also you see there is one hole there inside you see that hole it passes through with this uh, 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 adjustment and pass here okay what you will do because this is with adjustment you see you see that uh, adjustment this is a factory seating it's factory seating now, uh, for me uh, before I removing this just to make clean the hole uh, I put mark okay just put the mark so you will know where uh, to return it back, like uh, okay. For me, I put mark. So I put like this. This is my mark here, and this is the last. Okay. Okay. So. see it actually but I can see it so I put the uh, marking so if I remove this one I can return I can return it back to original sitting okay. by the way this is from here okay and okay in there this glass here okay and this one here so just remove all this four screw. We can pull this out, and this one four screw also. Uh, two sc four screw also here on the top. And you can move this out, and you can clean this one. Okay, I will just clean it first. Then we will try to assemble and power on. So I just remove this. So. See, it's just the uh, this is like a restriction valve. Okay, just from there. So now it is open. And see the hole inside. Good, Mia Mia. Okay, the 
touch the hole there so I'll just clean all this and return this back okay so now what I did uh, I used this Allen key because you know Allen key uh, have uh, this uh, like it's like ball tip so what you will do just just uh, find the uh, yeah what you call it uh, thread and this is I'm this is what I'm using just roll it roll it on the tip to make just like uh, uh, some uh, cleaning so I just put this inside okay okay it goes there and put some this and clean so uh, this is already you see uh, this is the uh, oil inside and uh, here also on the other side okay. just clean also here And after that, uh, blow it with air. So all the uh, oil uh, um, element inside will be uh, out. Okay. Just blow air outside, and it's ready to go. Okay. Okay. Now uh, this is uh, clean already. Okay. Okay, very nice and clean and the pilot hole also was clean. Okay. Okay. And this one also, you see. All clean properly and the o-ring also was clean. Okay. And uh, these two o-rings and most important thing is this glass okay okay clean it properly no any uh, finger uh, finger marks okay we'll assemble it so to assemble back uh, put this o-ring first there inside okay uh, sitting properly there just put this one Okay. Uh -huh. okay and this one also the inside and first put this one here okay okay there so then you can put this back okay don't forget about the o-ring okay so, okay that's it so i will just tighten okay so now this is tight already okay uh, this all four was returned back and you see the glass is looking good Okay, and here also, just return this for uh, screw with this uh, special tools. Okay, this is size uh, 7mm. Okay, all. And this solenoid also, uh, see, it was clean. I use also this. I use also my special tools also. Just remove this one and clean it. See? Can go inside. See, you can go inside. And clean. See, special tools. So all clean. Just return this back. Okay. What you do? Just push it. It will automatically go inside. That is a self-locking, uh, uh, self-locking uh, uh, device. Okay. So I'll just tighten this up and try to return the. Uh, this one also, or thing also. Let's try this. Okay, clean. 
Just return this one. Okay. Return back to the original uh, mark. Okay. Okay. Just put this uh, screw in. Okay. So now uh, the uh, the uh, three-way uh, solenoid valve was returned back. Okay. And uh, before you return back this uh, sensor board, uh, just clean this uh, sensor here. This. Uh, infrared uh, sensors uh, infrared uh, LED just just stop it with brush so at least and also the glass uh, make sure that it's clean okay let's return this back Just put the screw. So okay, guys. Uh, just put back uh, the two screws here, and uh, that's the uh, procedure how to clean the uh, cartridge of uh, this uh, sensor uh, glass. And uh, just uh, to do the recap, uh, first you need to remove this uh, four screw here. Okay. Okay. You have four screw here. Just remove this and then remove this also okay, so you can remove the board and secondly the uh, four four screw also here uh, here just remove this okay this one will go pop up just just to remove this connection just push this inside this is self-locking so you can remove this you remove this and uh, to remove the nut here uh, just uh, find a small uh, 7 mm uh, socket range okay for me I just make this for machine so it can go inside okay you see it can go inside but uh, if it is not machined uh, you can find a small very very thin Tip that can go inside here because this is little bit tip okay and remove and clean I show you already how to clean this inside here okay that's it guys and uh, it's easy but uh, the problem is uh, you should uh, carefully uh, uh, need to uh, careful about the uh, uh, what you call it the seal because for me I need to return back this seal this factory to to uh, seal here because uh, in uh, inspection time uh, the guys is checking it so I need to return back uh, make the uh, stick this one on the cover yeah. stick this one on the cover back to the cover and do the Put the sticking uh, on and, and just return it to like like original and put the heating gun so it will return back okay guys thanks for watching my youtube channel and uh, if you like uh, i'll just do the continue troubleshooting of this uh, in my next video in the continuation of this uh, Please uh, subscribe and watch my YouTube channel. Thanks very much for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.